improve, it's a change. To be perfect, it's a change often. By Winston Churchill. To keep abreast of the happenings in the world has become the mandatory need to live and succeed in the competitive economy. The new profile portfolios, the trends in job markets, the innovative ways of service delivery, and the customer thought process have made a major change in the entire global economy. We as individuals must know the difference between being educated and acting educated. Just because we've gone to schools, achieved merit results, does not constitute of us being educated. So what is education then? We can be called educated only when we can apply the learned knowledge practically in our life. There's a huge gap between the application of the learned knowledge and the integration of the practically and theoretically learned concepts. And this is the domain that needs to be changed. Let me tell you a short story. A mother and son go out to the native place in Punjab. They, they go out for a car ride and the mother looks out of the window and says, look at those wheat fields. You see, the crops are brown and ready to be harvested. Let's go and get some wheat from the farms. The son immediately replied, why the farms? We can even get in the supermarket as well. And the mother was flabbergasted by such a note from the child. So what do you think has failed here? Is it the mother or is it the son? No, it is the system that has failed. Yes, the system. And this is what needs a huge change. Another case. There's an elephant, a dog, a cat, and a fish. They all go through a certain test. And the test is, who can climb the tree the best? This is for sure a test where all may not exceed, and some may. So it's obvious that, it, that the monkey and the dog may exceed, whereas the other may not. They went to a second test, and who can swim the best? The fish is the answer. So by this small real life exa uh, example, we come to know that a student, a person, cannot be defined by a common test. They cannot be defined by a common test to find out the complete potential of one child. So in today's world, I go to school, I pass my exams, I get my 10th certificate, my 12th certificate, and graduation and so on. We all go along the path that has been made for us. So along with this path, along with education, we can even look out for the grooming, the grooming of the passion that the child is going to achieve in life. So now we go on to dissemination of learning. We learn in our schools, colleges, our home, and nowadays online. And learning is a continuous process. So in a school, a teacher has successfully taught the children the number four, the color red, and how learning makes friends. So now, the teacher sends a note to each parent. The note is, please send your child with a red apple to school tomorrow and ask your child what did you all do in school with it. So the next day the students, the children come, they sit and the teacher says, raise your apples eye up in the hair. So now the children raise the apple high up in the air and the teacher asks them, what color is the apple? The children reply, the apple is red. Then the teacher takes the apple and cuts it into four pieces. She asks, count the number of pieces of apple. The children start. One, two, three, and four. So now we come to know that the children have successfully learned the number four and the color red. And now the teacher says, keep one piece of apple with you and the other three share it with your friends. So now the children share the three pieces with they are so-called friends, and here we come to know, uh, we understand that the ch a child has learned what the teacher has taught. So now the children go home, and the parents ask, "What did you all learn in school today?" So now the, ch uh, the now the child replies and recollects and replies what they have learned in school. 
This includes, the dissemination process includes the parents as well. They play a major role in this process. So now, in, as, a as a student, I know what is going on in my school. And as I'm a class rep, I, I look at the people when I'm making them quiet. I look at the people and I observe them. What kinds of people are there in my class? Like someone is quite interactive. Some people keep on talking. So we understand the potential of the child, they are, how the social talking is there, what they are good at. So in the same manner, in my school, I find that when there's something off in a child, they try to remove, to bring out the best from the child, to find out their best potential. So there is this very good, I find it very good, a proverb from Mother Teresa. I can cast a stone across the sea and create many ripples. So if I can also cast a stone in the sea and create many ripples, so, so can you, right? So nowadays I look at the uh, education system and as my mother is a teacher, I understand how a teacher teaches, what she prepares, what hard work the teacher has also put in. And there is this, I would like to end it with, there is this very two lines from the poem of Rabindranath Tagore, where the mind is held high and the head is also held high. That is the place where my education can also be held high. Thank you. <laughs>